Good afternoon, everybody. I'm just going to give a few minutes to uh, let all of our participants kind of come into the Zoom. So just a minute or two before we start. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Good afternoon, everybody, on this beautiful sunny day in Springfield. I have some exciting news to share today about our 2022 commencement speaker. This is a year of celebration for the college as we begin a commemoration of 50 years of Title IX, the landmark legis legislation that prohibits discrimination based on sex in educational programs or activities that receive federal financial assistance such as financial aid. The opportunities created through Title IX have been extraordinary. We equate the law immediately with the skyrocketing rates of participation for girls and women in sport that resulted, but we often forget that it applies to every aspect of education. That means that girls and women have equal access to financial aid, course offerings, housing, and much, much more. Title IX means access, and there is nothing more fundamental than access to education. The road to getting Title IX passed, though, was arduous. A committed group of advocates lobbied tirelessly for the legislation, including our very own Dr. Mimi Murray, and paved the way to June 23, 1972, the day Title IX was passed into law. Our 2022 commencement speaker is one of those advocates, an icon whose career in sport and activism is truly legendary. I could share her impressive bio with you, but frankly, she does it much better. Just watch. Please welcome Billie Jean King. 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 That's it, she's won it. Being under a certain pressure, more and more it depends on your mentality. For me, I try to block out everything, 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 everything. Block out everything, everything. My whole world is just that tennis court. So I'm very goal-oriented. I'm a perfectionist, I hate to lose. To the queen of tennis. You know, everyone keeps thinking I'm finished. I'm just getting started. I'm, I'm, I'm just getting started. Billy Dean King. Oh, what a finishing shot. The best in the world. Do you win or do you lose? That's all about. Fantastic. I'm not going to walk on this court unless I think I can win. That's what it's all about. You know, good at all. Billy Jean King, the best in the world. Billy Jean has done it again. Champion won it again for the fourth time. Best in the world. Save it. That's it. She's got it. Best in the world. Broken the record. I feel fantastic. Best in the world. Mom, Mr. President. Yeah, now you're one of them. Congratulate you. Best I guess I think I should really thank my parents first. They're the ones that got this all started. Long Beach is the spot. Long, long, long Beach is the spot. I took my first tennis lesson out at Houghton Park in Long Beach. Long Beach is the I said, this is it. I love it. I knew the first time I dropped the ball and I hit it. But I want to be world champion. The best in the world. But as I grew up in tennis, realizing it was only for whites, that just turned me off. Tennis hoops for tomorrow. But I said to myself, if I can help change the sport tennis hoops for tomorrow. by changing the system. What we are talking about is a revolution, not a reform. I played well. I earned that. Much. This is the first year that we've ever had a women's pro tour in the history of tennis. Unless we got together, we weren't going to have any power to help create equal opportunity as well as to share, not dominate. Big difference, those two words. We're going to have some control over our own destiny. We're starting to make up our own rules. I hate those livers. The male is king, the male is supreme. I hate those livers. The male is king, the male is supreme. <laughs> What he said, so ridiculous. I said it over and over again. The male is king, the male is supreme. I do think a woman can beat Bobby Riggs. 
under a pressure situation. I love pressure. You can try to psych me all you want. Never bet against Bobby Ray. See who can take the pressure we can. Live from the Astrodome in Houston, Texas. He claims his tomfoolery will psych out Mrs. King and she will crumble on the court. And it is going to be the battle of the sexes. Don't anybody let you tell you it's any different. responsibility, especially for young girls. For the first time, we can start looking up to various women athletes. Young girls need to know where they can go. And that's what we can help them see. And that's what we can help them see. Join us in welcoming both of them to the Dodgers family. Best in the world. If you go out to do something, it's because you want to do it, not what you expect in return. The day that you expect people to give back to you for what you've given, and you haven't given in the first place. Oh my goodness, I've seen that video now a half a dozen times. And every time I see it, it just, it, I get more excited about the possibility and the, and the reality of the best in the world, Billie Jean King coming to Springfield College to be a part of our 2022 commencement. Simply amazing. I think her work, I think who she is as a person is so fitting for Springfield College. I hope you are as excited as I am to welcome her in May. So she'll be with us again, the class of 22. She will be your commencement speaker. And I, and I have no doubt that her words and her message will be rememberable. She is an icon and she is someone that many of us um, look up to because she has paved the way for all of us. And so some of you may have seen on Sunday night at the Super Bowl that she had the opportunity to um, do the coin tossing. So they brought the most important person to do the most important task and Billie Jean King represented that. And so I would be remiss if I didn't thank our trustee, Bridget Belvagini, who brought her to us through a conversation that she had with her earlier this year. And as Bridget shared the mission of Springfield College and who we are as an institution and what our students and our faculty and staff value, she immediately said yes. And so, that's today's announcement. More information will be forthcoming in terms of logistics, but I thought this message was too important to send in an email, and I hope that you enjoyed the video as well. So I look forward to welcoming her to campus, and I know you do as well. Have a great day, everybody. We'll look forward to seeing you in the next few days here on campus, but especially welcoming Billie Jean King to us in May. Have a great afternoon, everybody.